My dear children, last class we saw the author went to Bridgeport and came to know that Connie McPherson was in a nursing home, right? So, now we can see the author is going to Burlington House Nursing Home. Okay, see page number 15, 1, 5. I found Burlington House Nursing Home easily enough. Easily enough means quite easily. There were paper chains up in the hallway and a lighted Christmas tree stood in the corner with a lopsided angel on top. Paper chains here means chains made of paper links and used for decorating a room, especially at Christmas. Lopsided means bent on one side. Okay. I said I was a friend come to visit Mrs. McPherson to bring her a Christmas present. I could see through into the dining room where everyone was wearing a paper hat and singing. The matron had a hat on too and seemed happy enough to see me. Matron, a head nurse. She even offered me a mince pie. Mince pie, Christmas pie made of uh, dry fruits. She walked me along the corridor. Mrs. McPherson is not in with the others, she told me. She was rather confused to die, so we thought it best if she had a good rest. She has no family, you know. No one visits. So I am sure she will be only too pleased to see you. She took me into a conservatory with wicker chairs and potted plants all around and left me. Conservatory means a glass house made to relax close to the main house. Wicker chairs means cane chairs. Cane chairs. The old lady was sitting in a wheelchair, her hands folded in her lap. She had silver white hair pinned into a wispy bun. Wispy means feathery. Wispy bun, feathery bun. She was gazing out at the garden. Gazing out means looking out at the garden. Hello, I said. She turned and looked up at me vacantly. Vacantly means with blank stare. Happy Christmas, Connie, I went on. I found this. I think it is yours. As I was speaking, her eyes never left my face. I opened the tin box and gave it to her. That was the moment her eyes lit up with recognition and her face became suffused with a sudden glow of happiness. Lit up with means became bright with happiness, excitement. Suffused with means covered with. Okay, I explained about the dust, about how I had found it, but I don't think she was listening. For a while, she said nothing, but stroked the letter tenderly with her fingertips. Suddenly, she reached out and took my hand. Her eyes were filled with tears. You told me you would come home by Christmas, dearest, she said, and here you are. The best Christmas present in the world. Come closer, Jim dear. Sit down. I sat down beside her and she kissed my cheek. I read your letters so often, Jim, every day. I wanted to hear your voice in my head. It always made me feel you were with me. And now you are. Now you are back. You can read it to me yourself. Would you do that for me, Jim dear? I just wanted to hear your voice again. I would love that so much. And then perhaps we will have some tea. I have made you a nice Christmas cake. Masipan all around. I know how much you love Masipan. Michael Mopago. Now we will see the explanation. Okay. The older went to the nursing home. He met the matron. She told the older that Mrs. McPherson was rather confused that day. They had put her in a conservatory. The author found Mrs. McPherson sitting in a chair. Naturally, she looked up at the author vacantly. But her eyes lit up when he called her Connie and gave her the letter. He told her how he had got the letter. But she was not listening to him. She reached out and took his hand. Her eyes were filled with tears. She felt that her gym had returned. She said that her gym had kept his promise. 
he had returned on the eve of christmas that was his promise he would come on the eve of christmas she made him sit beside her she kissed his cheek she talked long and lovingly to him she said that she had got the best christmas present in the world understand she asked him to read the letter for her because she wanted to hear his voice again see the love now then she said she had made a christmas cake for him marzipan spread all around because she knew he loved marzipan very much here we can see kony macpherson is talking too much because she was very much excited as she felt her jim had come back from the battlefield it is proved that she is a little muddle headed confused of ideas as she was grown too old in the waiting of her husband for all these years uh, she was waiting no she mistook the other as jim her husband understand she declared him as the best christmas present in the world understand okay now we see the comprehension check okay first question who did connie macpherson think her visitor was answer Connie Macpherson thought that her visitor was her husband Jim Macpherson himself. Understand? Connie Macpherson thought that her visitor was her husband Jim Macpherson. Second question: Which sentence in the text shows that the visitor did not try to hide his identity? See, the sentence in the text that shows the visitor did not try to hide his identity is I explained about the dust about high about how I found it. And second, which is a sentence? I explained about the dust about how I found it. Okay. You are supposed to write it on the back page of your notebook. Working with the text will be done in the next class. Okay. Thank you.